A5 Wagyu is such a great experience that it should be stretched out for as long as possible. Eating just a couple of little morsels of meat is not gonna last too long. So let's prepare some sides to go with it. Uh, I'm thinking some Japanese cucumber salad, um, also some mushrooms, and also some quality rice to dress over the beef, to dress the beef over, um, to absorb that fat and that juice and that all of that flavor into, so we can stretch out the experience a little bit longer. So let's get into it. Now look at this. What an incredible piece of A5 Japanese Wagyu. Look at the incredible marbling all throughout the meat. It's an incredible, incredible piece of beef. This is um, a sirloin steak, 256 grams. This was sent to me by Tom Hickson of Smithfield, an incredible supplier here in the UK. I'll link them down in the description so you can go and check them out. Um, check out what they do. They've got a lot of offers running all the time and uh, they do some fantastic cuts that you really can't get anywhere else. So check them out. So let's open this up. Once again, just take another, another little look at that. Just look at that incredible, incredible piece of beef. Let's get up closer. Look how beautiful that piece of beef is. Right, what I'm going to do, because it is such a large bit of Wagyu, is I'm actually going to take a centre cut out of it. Uh, I'm going to use that for today's video, and I'll show you some other recipes that you can do with some of the other bits. Do not, whatever you do, do not cut away the fat and discard it. Um, it's the best bit of, of the entire thing. So let's just uh, cut a nice cube out of the centre. side okay so there is the center cut move it over the center frame now to prepare it for cooking I'll save that bit of fat to prepare it for cooking you could just cook this in one one whole bit and it would be absolutely beautiful look at the marbling on the reverse it would be incredible what I'm gonna do is actually cut it into smaller um, bite-sized pieces so I can uh, dress it on top of the rice um, it should render some of that fat into the rice which is absolutely beautiful as well um, but it'll make it more manageable to grab with a with a pair of uh, chopsticks so um, I'm gonna go about one inch So that's made, just take a So look, makes these lovely, beautiful bits of Wagyu. Now I'll cut them as 
well. That bit's already falling off, so that'll be that size. That bit will be saved. And there we have it. Our absolutely incredible pieces of A5 Wagyu. Now these other bits here, as I say, these are going to be saved for another recipe. But as soon as you touch this, even the lightest touch, and it's very cold, it's very cold in this room that I'm working in. Um, and this is, you know, this is at sort of room temperature now, but it's just, just melts away. It's a, such an incredible meat to work with. Now we've got the a5 wagyu all chopped up ready to go um, i'm gonna start preparing some sides show you how to prepare the sides we'll leave this to one side and we'll cook this up as the very last thing because it really doesn't take very long at all so let's get on prepare some sides some absolutely beautiful sides we're gonna do um, and we'll go from there these cucumbers have been marinating overnight and they would have absorbed a lot of that flavor and become super tasty now, if you can't find these small cucumbers, sometimes known as a Thai cucumber or a snack cucumber here in the UK, if you can't find them, you can just use a normal cucumber. I would probably take the seeds out and just use the outside of it um, so you can get them a little bit um, a little bit more petite. And you can also cut slices of cucumber. This is how I've had these cucumbers in Japan, so this is how I've prepared them. Um, but equally, if you have a look online at recipes for these, um, a lot of recipes do show them sliced. Um, so do it either way, but I feel like this presents nicer. So that's our another little side dish to go with the fantastic Wagyu that we're cooking up is mushrooms. Mushrooms go with meat particularly well. Um, so here we've got pacini mushrooms at the bottom, which have, uh, along with the chestnut mushrooms, which have been roasted off in oil with a little bit of garlic in there as well. Beautiful, beautiful flavours, and they complement the Wagyu very, very well. Okay, now to cook it up. Prepared the rice already. So straight away, as it's as it's ready, we'll drop it straight onto the rice so the fat can soak through into the rice. It's one of the best bits of having Wagyu, is having the rice. <laughs> it's as strange as that seems because all that flavor and all that taste and fat soaks through the, the rice and makes it epic. So let's get on. Move over the board. And what you want to do when cooking Wagyu is get it as hot as possible and no fat. This will leach out the fat as quickly as you put it on. Um, so there's really no need. See the fat coming out straight away? Listen to that sound. And smell is absolutely incredible. Now it doesn't take very long to cook. Should have let this heat up a little bit more. Um, but it cooks so quickly. Instantly taking on the color. If you could smell this. <laughs> Honestly, get onto Tom Hickson and order up some of this Wagyu. Have an experience for yourself. Um, as I say, although Wagyu is expensive, 
um, you can get a lot out of it because it is so rich. And if you make more of a meal out of it, if you add the rice in, of course you're going to add the rice in. Um, but add in the, the Simonu um, cucumbers, add in some mushrooms, add in some other sides. Make it more of an experience um, than just... Right, beautiful. Pop that onto the rice. Let that fat soak through. And I'll throw another one on. Obviously, you could just throw them all on, but I'm quite enjoying the experience. There we go. Bit better temperature on that one. That fat will just render so quickly. Um, if we just have a look here as we're cooking, see the fat glistening and all soaking off and dripping off of that bit that's just been placed on the rice there. get a fatty a bit so you can really see the fat render out See all the fat just squirting, squirting out the meat. Look at the fat on Wagyu melts at a lower temperature than it would on the uh, beef that you might be used to. Um, and that's what makes it so incredible because as you eat it, um, it all just sort of dissolves out. And when they say, oh, it's buttery, well, that's because it melts at such a low point. Um, that's what makes it incredible. Now, what I've got here, out, what I've cut out of the centre here, would probably be enough for two people. Um, because you don't need a vast amount of it. You can cut it slightly smaller than I've done here as well. Um, so it does go a lot further than you would think. That bit will leach on. Lovely. Another thing you can do once you've cooked on here is the, there will be a lot of um, wagyu fat on there. I like to just throw a little bit of rice on and get that to soak up the um, get that to soak up the wagyu fat that's on there. Wagyu fried rice, everyone's favourite. So, what does it taste like? Well, it smells absolutely incredible. It's so smooth and creamy. The fat just coats your whole entire palate. Um, just within a second, you're, you're completely coated with it. Let's try it with some rice. The chopstick. Now let's try it with some rice. Mm. It's so good. 
the thing I would say with eating Wagyu is it's so tender, it completely falls apart and disintegrates in your mouth. But keep chewing. Um, even though you don't really need to chew it, it just keeps the experience going. It keeps the flavour um, coming and it continues to coat your mouth again and again and again. And it's really incredible. Until you try Wagyu, you probably can't really appreciate it. Mm. It's really, <coughs> it's really difficult to describe. Um, but here are the, um, here are the cucumbers. The cucumbers go really well because of the acidity sort of clears the palate a bit so you're there ready for another hit of wagyu fat another thing with making the whole experience grab yourself a glass you can sit there just for a moment there's um there's a drink called choya or it's called umeshu it's known as it's a japanese like a Plum liqueur, plum wine, I guess you would call it. Usually comes with a plum inside as well. Um, the plums are actually really good if you break them up and have them on rice as well. Now usually you would water this down, but I guess it's 12 o'clock somewhere, right? There you go. There's your perfect little meal. Some Umashu, some um, cucumber salad, some mushrooms prepared, however, and the star of the show, the absolutely fantastic, beautiful, brilliant, every descriptor you can imagine, A5 Japanese Wagyu. That was going to be the end of the video, but... started so I will finish if you've enjoyed the video please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel there's a lot more a5 Japanese Wagyu videos coming um, as well as other cooking videos so make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you